Paul, the hallmark of science is being able to take theories to predict things you hadn't dealt with before, and the success of that indicates the uh, veracity of your theories. And some, with legitimacy, particularly physicists, have said ultimately everything can be explained in terms of fundamental physics, maybe not now, but in principle over long periods of time we'll be able to explain everything. Some disagree with that and say that in principle there are certain things that cannot be predicted. What is, what is the real issue here and how do you analyze it? You have to be really careful and first distinguish between explanation and prediction. So it could be that some systems are simply so complex or so sensitive to the starting conditions that you in practice, or even in principle, could not predict how they're going to behave in the future. Even if you had the entire universe commandeered as a computational system, there are some things uh, that their fastest predictor is to just wait and let them happen. <laughs> and there's other aspects as well, because we live in a universe where we would like to think if you get uh, all the information everywhere in the universe at one instant, uh, then you could predict everything that would happen subsequently. Well, first of all, not only can you not have access to all that information at one instant, there are some cosmological models where even that isn't good enough, that there's information that can sort of come in from the sides of space-time, I like to call it naked infinity, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they come and, and zap you, and there's no way that you could predict that they're coming, even if you knew everything at one instant of time. So there could be some uh, sort of bubble that's expanding at the speed of light. We wouldn't see it coming. It could arrive in the next second. Boom, we'd all be gone. There's nothing we can do mm -hmm. to predict that. So these scenarios are known. Uh, but I think uh, you're hinting at a deeper question, uh, which is that ultimately can science give an, an account of the world? Now, maybe that account of the world can't be given entirely at the bottom level of reality, whether those are particles, fields, strings, whatever. Uh, are there other layers of scientific explanation that we have to invoke? And in my view, the answer to that is yes. Now, some people seize on that, saying, well, if you can't explain everything down at the bottom level, then that's introducing some sort of magic or mystery or room for miracles or something of that sort. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is all living systems are open systems. So if, even if I knew the positions and motions of every molecule in your body now, I still couldn't predict what was going to happen in one minute because there's all sorts of influences from the outside world which are intruding. Uh, so uh, under those circumstances, it's very clear that living systems, in fact, pretty much all systems that we study, uh, really have room for additional principles which operate at a higher level of complexity that are consistent with but not reducible to what is happening down at that base level of molecules or strings or whatever is your favorite. For example, principles of organization uh, that might tell us how matter uh, gave rise to life. Uh, are you saying that it is practically impossible to do that or in principle? impossible to do that because principles that work at different levels of organization um, ultimately are composed of the parts that are down below. So if you know everything possible about the parts in some future technology, uh, is it in principle possible to predict the emergence at different levels? There's a fallacy, I think, and it goes back to Laplace's famous statement about being able to calculate everything that's going on in the universe if it's a completely deterministic system. Uh, and this is sort of fed through even into modern physics, that in principle, if we knew everything in the universe, we could predict everything. Even that is not true, because the nature of the universe is such that, uh, that even that complete knowledge is not enough to tell you what is going to happen. Quite apart from anything else, we live in a system which is quantum mechanical, uh, and that simply does not have fixed outcomes. And so we've got to get away from this nonsense that somehow a super-duper godlike entity could tell you one, from one moment to the next how it is going to be. It just simply is not the case. Yet the universe itself is a closed system. Uh, even that statement is not terribly clear uh, because we could live in an infinite universe. What we call the, uh, the first of all, the, the term is uh, very confusing. What we call the universe is usually referring to the region within our so-called horizon, that is that the maximum distance which light can have traveled uh, since the, the Big Bang, and we can argue about how big that is, but it's certainly finite. Uh, and therefore, uh, anything that can affect anything else is restricted to within that region. And so we can't say 
about influences outside that or what is coming across that. So it's, it's not even a closed system uh, if we take the whole universe. If the universe and its geometry, uh, at least our bubble universe or our part, were a closed system and that space uh, uh, folded back on itself, so if you went in one direction, you'd eventually come back to the same place, um, irrespective of other universes, then in principle would total predictability be possible? Or at each level of hierarchy, are there rules or mechanisms that, in principle, can never be reduced to low, low, low level? I think that's a fundamental question. Well, it is. Now, we can imagine something much simpler than your closed universe. We can imagine a perfectly rigid box of particles sort of rattling around, like molecules, completely deterministic, obeying the laws of Newtonian mechanics. That is a predictable system. That's not nature. Mm. Uh, and I come back to the point that even in a closed universe, we still have quantum mechanics. Now, that takes us into a whole territory as to whether um, what your interpretation of quantum <laughs> mechanics, but everybody would agree that a, a particular observer uh, is going to see a world that is not predictable because of that quantum indeterminism. And so the question is, does that, pro does that in itself predict or invite us to imagine higher levels of organization where there are laws uh, and emergent principles, uh, or uh, is it the case that we can, we just don't know?